everybody. Welcome back to Pop Dust Presents. If you tuned in yesterday, uh, I was with an artist named Abby, a country music singer, and presuming that you just stayed at your computer waiting for us to go live again, you'll be excited to know that today I'm with Olivia Lane, another fantastic, amazing, rising star in country music. And uh, yeah, and, and you've actually performed before with Abby. Yeah, we played a show a couple years ago. It's such a tiny, small world in Nashville, especially in the country music industry. I feel like everybody knows each other. But you are, and you're both from Texas, but are you, you're still living in Texas? No, I live in Nashville. I've been there for about five years. What is going on? You gotta move there. That's the, that's the cool there. thing. Uh, but you have a, a single called You Got Me. Mm -hmm. It's been playing on the radio. Yes. You've gotten shout outs from Billboard, yeah. Spotify, yeah. Craigslist. Craigslist, what? Sirius XM. <laughs> I don't know about the Craigslist. iHeart <laughs> Radio. Uh, it's been good. I've been getting a lot of love for the song. And it's been really wonderful seeing the fans actually react. I feel like they are universally connecting to the song out of all the songs I've put out. So it's been really Tell uh, both your fans watching and those who maybe don't know you a yeah. bit about how that song came to be. Yeah, I'm a singer and a songwriter as well. Uh, over to you. <laughs> I know, <laughs> it's getting crazy over here. Um, but uh, so I moved to Nashville about five years ago and uh, packed my car up from Los Angeles because I went to college out there, drove it across the country with my two best guy friends, went to Bonnaroo and started writing that day after Bonnaroo. So my mind was a little bit cray cray. Um, but it's been five years of kind of developing my sound and what I want to say and I'm 27 years old and I feel like uh, your 20s are kind of a very up and down part of your life and there's just so much to write about. Um, and that song, actually I wrote it a year ago and um, I came into the right, I remember, and uh, I wrote it with Aaron Schurz and Tim Nichols. And um, I was like, I want to write something uplifting, I want to write something inspiring. I don't really know, I didn't have the title. Usually I'll come in with like a chorus or a title, but that day I was totally an open canvas. Um, and Aaron, he knows me so well, he's running around his chair and he was like, I got a title called You Got Me. And I was like, we're writing that, let's spin it. Like, you got me, like, I don't know, you got me, I got you. Like, there was just so many ways the song could go. Um, and like, I don't know, I feel like I kind of blacked out during that ride, and then like three hours later we had something, and I was like, what just happened? Um, Sounds dangerous. It was, it was dangerously wonderful. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> so yeah, now here we are, and um, songwriting. Kids, do not try it at home. Yeah. This is a professional. If you want some steady income, I don't recommend you doing songwriting. <laughs> but if you want to live a life of amazing fun wild adventures, just be a songwriter. <laughs> yeah. Or a dragon hunter. Or a or dragon hunter. I don't know. Uh, they really are you. very similar. Lots yeah. of adventures. Yeah. Dragon hunter, I don't know. Next single? I'm Maybe. Not sure. that, or the album title. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Now you're thinking. I know. See, that's uh, what I do. Well, uh, now you. we spoke before the show, full disclosure to everybody. We didn't just, uh, you know, meet at this moment. Right. You know, I like, I like there to be transparency. Mm -hmm. uh, and but you mentioned that there is a potentially another single coming out. There is, yeah. We're going to have another song dropping in January in the new year. My birthday month. So what? I'm guessing it's for me. Thank you. I mean, you kind of ruined the surprise, but oh, it's still special. I know, I know. What's, what day is your birthday? January 30th. Oh my gosh, and it's called A3 AM. 3.30. This is freaking me out. <laughs> this is weird. Yes, and, and... It is for you. Yes, and, and 3 AM is when I start getting ready for bed. <laughs> yeah, me too. Normally. Me too. Is that what the song's about? That's exactly what the song's about, and how frustrated I am that I can't go to bed before 3 o'clock sometimes. I, it's very frustrating for me, especially because this crazy place wants me here in the morning, yeah. sober, yeah, and like it's like all right, come okay, on, listen, you know, you're asking too much. Yeah. I'm only human. This is this is pop dust, all right. 
Um, so, so what is happening in between them? Because I think Rolling Stone named you one of the top ten country artists to watch. Yeah, it's been pretty incredible to get some. It's nice when you get those kinds of things because it's like, hey, kid, you're doing well. Keep going. It's kind of like a reminder of like, keep keep putting your stuff out there. Keep putting your heart out there. Um, and so it's just been really, really wonderful. Like this last year, I took a break. You got me the first song we put out five weeks ago. Hey, Korea, and we'll be coming in January. So it's just we're gonna do a single by single kind of rollout, which is awesome. It is, um, and and I guess. But what happens when you know you get a big shout out like that from you know Rolling Stone magazine or something? Yeah. yeah. What do you, what do you do? The you, rest of the day. You just you you go get your favorite iced coffee and you get your favorite breakfast tacos. And by you, I'm talking about myself. Um, and you just go have a great day. I think I think actually that day I had a right. So I was like just talking about it and it just kind of creatively inspired me to just keep going. And yeah, it's really what, you know, you try to have a good day and it's you have highs and lows, so you really appreciate the days when you have a high day. But are you going to be touring in between now and the next single? So we don't have that many shows actually this year, but we are starting to book some shows next year. There's gonna be a lot of shows coming next year. And I guess for people out there who, uh, you know, want to reach the level of notoriety that you've reached, mm -hmm. I mean, you're here on the Pop Does Couch, it's, it's, it's the, the top of the top. I mean, hello. Yeah, so uh, for people out there, how, uh, what sort of advice would you give? Yeah, I mean, I think everybody's path is different. I got to town, wrote for about a year, and I just felt it was best for me to go on the road. So me and three dudes in a van went traveling to any gig I could get. Solved um, the mysteries. Yeah, solved all the mysteries, counts and dragons, you know. Ooh. Um, but yeah, you know, I kind of, it's funny, a lot of a lot of females I feel like don't go on the road and it was kind of weird for me to want to do that. So I was just like, yeah, why not? We'll just go on the road and play, you know, play to the, the two people that are there or, you know, or randomly play to 800 people that are there. It was very, um, it was very different every single day, and I think as a musician and as a songwriter, you just, you have to be okay with the chaos of your life. Every day is going to be different. You're not going to have like a nine to five scheduled, rigid um, kind of life. It's going to be, you're going to wake up and things are just going to be totally different every day. So you have to, like, I feel like I thrive in chaos. Like, I don't know. I just love it. I just love that every day is different. So if you're that kind of person, I would recommend the entertainment industry for you. Absolutely. So... I guess if I could boil that down, you want to you want to black out and write songs. Yes. And then just and have high take days. off, just take <laughs> off on the road <laughs> with, with some friends in a van. Yeah. And just see what happens. That's exa exactly. That's a formula for success, baby. I think so. Um, great. Would you? Uh, I know that you have a, a show later tonight we in Brooklyn, do. right? We do. Is this your first time playing in Brooklyn? Um. Yes, it is actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A Brooklyn first. Uh, okay. A Brooklyn first. And, and Brooklyn. wow, that's great. Well, there's going to be a lot of things to yeah. watch out for. You know, <laughs> uh -huh. Like crowd, what do you mean? The crowds get rowdy. <laughs> well, sometimes, like sometimes well, the L train is running with delays. <laughs> um, a lot of people will have various mustaches of, of different sizes. Mm. And it's like hipstery. Yeah, and, and um, hipster dragons. You know, um, well, always watch where you're stepping because everybody has dogs. Um, but they're, the girl constantly walking. It's like, what happened to like a dog day's afternoon or whatever? Like, just take uh, him to the dog park and take him home. Cat, nah, just let him do run. Yeah, just let him roam all over yeah, the place. It's like everywhere I step, it's like dog, dog, dog. I mean, if I told you, you stepped on dogs. The, Listen, oh, I basically God. rode on a on a dog <laughs> escalator to work today. So I just stepped from <laughs> smallest to largest. <laughs> right, that's, well, that's you know, terrible. No animals were harmed in the taping of this Pop Does Present. Any last uh, messages for your fans out there? Yes, thank you to all my fans who are watching, and thank you to all the people who didn't know who I was, and they're watching, and I hope you become a fan and a friend. Please check me out at OliviaLine.com, Olivia Lane Music on Instagram, Twitter, um, Facebook. Share this um, this Facebook Live right now from Pop to Us. Please share it with your friends, um, and just have a blessed day. Go out and do something fun tonight.
Yes, and if she rated you a date rather than dust, I guess DM, Hit me up. DM her. Little Big Town. You'll get pizza. Slide into my DMs. Ooh. Slide into them. Thanks, everybody.